Cytosine is a simulation software that models the individual elements of cytoskeleton network. It models each one of the fibers, each one of the motors, the crosslinkers, and other elements that you may want to have in your process. You can, from the interaction of those individual elements, you can get the dynamics of your whole system. By using Cytosine, we can uh, play with the individual elements of the set, what we believe is the elements of the skeleton acting such skeleton contraction mechanism. So we can change the number of acting, the number of motors, the number of uh, binders, cross-linkers in the system and see how it changes the force generation, the contraction of the cells and how it changes the force transmission in the cells. So by using cytosine I can vary each one of these elements individually and see how that affects the contraction of the network. We have different uh, examples of uh, contractile system of if you take the site acting cytoskeleton, for example, you assume that initially it's randomly distributed, and then you can ask what are elements that you need to add to the cytoskeleton to make it contract. So if you just have the fibers by themselves in your uh, simulation floating in a 2D gel or 2D something space, they actually will just uh, move around the current random motion, and that will not ob obviously not lead to contraction. Then you, your first hypothesis or your first guess is be that how oh, you need you need to add motors to make the system contractile. But then, if you just add the myosin motors to your system, they will bind to filaments, active filaments. They uh, walk along them, but do not necessarily bring them together. And the simulation that we do show that the acting just move around and do not still do not have contraction of the network. If you start to add a little bit of cross linkers to the mixture then you can see that some of those fibers start to bend and, and through, through this buckling process you start to get some contraction from this network. Then you start to add a little bit more cross-linkers, let's say you put the same amount of cross-linkers as you have on motors, and then you can see their system will contract quite well. But this the dependence of the acting contraction with the number of cross-linkers and motors is not linear. If you keep increasing the number of cross-linkers that you add to your element, you do not necessarily get more contraction, but you can lead to a, where you eventually freeze the network because you have too much cross linkers and now none of the fibers can move anymore. I choose Cytosim because it's an easy program to use. So Cytosim is already coded for you, you don't need to code in C++ to, to, to generate your own simulations. All you need is to get familiar with the classes, the objects that Cytosim uh, simulates and know how to use them. Cytosine has already been developed for 10 years and, or more, so everything has already been tested, debugged, and you can be sure that the results that you're getting are real and not an artifact of the simulation software. Every time I want to do a new project using Cytosine, the first thing I do is I try to find an example that does more or less what I want to do. And then, as soon as I get familiar with that, then I can start adding my own elements to it. When you get to the point that you want to model your real system, then the first thing you have to do is go to the literature and try to find the real uh, values of the parameters, the real binding and binding rates of your motors, the actual length of the fibers, and so on. Once you start to use cytosine, then my advice is get familiar with the examples that come in the cytosine tutorial. When you use cytosine, you don't need advanced programming skills. You don't need to know how to code C++ necessarily. But you do need to have some scripting or coding uh, skills to analyze the data that you get out of Cytosine. Because Cytosine is an agent-based modeling of the individual elements of the skeleton, it's suitable to answer questions at a, a certain uh, length and time scale. If you want to ask questions about how such skeleton behaves in one cell or maybe two cells, such things suitable for you. But if you want to ask how such skeleton interacts with the neighbors of skeleton, with the whole tissue or many cells, then such skeleton is not the right uh, approach for you. On the other end of the spectrum, if you're asking questions like the bind of the monomers that make up the actin or the microtubule, or how the motor are assembled and walk, in a video fiber, then such things also not the right approach for you because you're asking 
questions at a much smaller scale than Satsuni can answer for you. Satsuni is not a coarse grain approach to the set skeleton. You're not modeling an active gel theory or system of these. You're actually model, modeling the individual movements of each one of those elements. Mm -hmm.